the British economy is facing multiple challenges. Firstly, the rapid spread of the Omicron variant will undoubtedly bring a further impact to the recovery of the British economy. Secondly, surging inflation, especially soaring energy prices, will hinder the British economy recovery. Official data showed the country's annual inflation rate rose to 5.1% in November last year, the highest level in a decade. Thirdly, Brexit. Britain's full customer controls took effect since the beginning of this year. Businesses worried that this will worsen the existing supply chain problems and cause further port congestion. In Italy, according to official forecast, the country's economy would grow 4.7% in 2022. But experts say that rising prices, especially fuel prices, would erode the impact of the strong economic growth. Official data showed that prices rose by 3.9% in 2021 compared to the previous year, pushed largely by a surge in energy prices. Experts predict that supply chain problems are likely to grow in the coming months. On average, people will have more money in their pockets, but will not spend as much as they used to. Economic development in Germany is currently dominated by another wave of the coronavirus. An economic slowdown is therefore expected at the beginning of 2022. Current economic forecasts predict that the German economy will grow by around 4% this year. However, this growth forecast is conditional on a significant decline in the number of infections from the springs onwards. At present, German economists see four key challenges for the German economy. The first one, supply bottlenecks. The lack of inputs and components from abroad mean that many companies' orders cannot be processed. The second, high inflation rates. Inflation in Germany is expected to be around 2.5% in 2022, uh, after uh, about 3% in 2021. An inflation rate of below 2% is not expected until 2023. The third one is rising energy prices, while the fourth factor is the virus mutations. The French National Institute of Statistics and Economic Studies recently published a study on the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the youth employment, in which the institute said the pandemic has continued to affect the conditions of access to the labor market for those who just graduated. The employment rate of young people who have left initial training one to four years ago fell particularly during the second quarter of the 2020 when the first confinement of the population was imposed in France. The institute pointed out that the difficulties of access to employment shared at all levels of qualification. 